Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new Dark Souls 3 video. Today we're going to be doing the 6th part of our 100% walkthrough where we're going to be getting every item in the game and all the secrets. So today we are going to be doing Fatran's Keep which is a bloody um, annoying episode I've got to say. Uh, I really wasn't sure which route to take but I'm going to try and explain it as best I can. So there's these broken bridges go pretty much all the way through the map. So first we're going to be doing everything to the left of those broken bridges and then everything to the right so we're going to start with the left uh, there's a ragged mask mask sorry in this corner over here to our left uh over here in front of it there's going to be another item down here uh where all the trees are which is a titanite shard uh we're going to head back kind of towards the bridge area where the stairs are in this um building kind of on its side so there's going to be another item over there which is going to be an estus shard which is pretty important uh the next item is going to be over here just uh where the stairs are another titanite shard but before heading up the stairs, we're going to explore the left of the stairs. So over here, there's going to be an item on this uh, platform, the prism stone. So we can see another item to, to our right. But first, we're going to get this one what's to our left, which is going to be a shield. And now we're going to go and head to get that item we just mentioned before, heading further up the lake, uh, which is the right in pine resin. And now we're going to continue to the end where this building is. It's not actually the end, but it's it's the end of the items up that route, so uh, there's no point of going any further. Plus, we're going to end up over there anyway by going this way, so yeah. So now we're going to come back and head up the stairs. Uh, so the whole point of the the swamp area is to light or, or put out these uh, fires. Once you've done all three of them, the main door will open, so we have access to the boss area. So that's going to be where the first one is, and straight up the, uh, up the hill, there's going to be some more rotten pine resin. Uh, now we're going to head back down... Uh, in front of um, or continuing past the fire pretty much until we get to this part of the lake so before continuing to our left uh, we're going to come to our right where these broken bridges are so I'm going to uh, get the items what are actually on the broken bridges this time like before we go to the right hand side we're going to be getting getting them now we're doing the left hand side we may as well get the ones what are on top of the bridges too so go to bro both broken bridges they're right in front of each other uh, one has got the great sword and uh, i'm not sure what the other one had but anyway there's going to be another item over here coming back uh behind this uh big column and now we're going to be back on the platform that is in front of the hill we just came down so now we're going to continue forwards and we're going to come to another section what looks pretty similar to the other one the one we just got to so there's going to be some stairs to our right and we can go down to our left but this time we're going to be doing it the other way around this time we're going to be going up the stairs and then coming back round to from from ahead to our left so there's an item over there and uh here's our second fire we put out to have access to the big door at the boss area so make sure you don't miss that if not you're not going to really be able to do anything uh, so yeah so now we're just going to continue forwards down to our left there's going to be uh, another like bridge which technically I'm counting this as the bridge the middle bridge we're dividing the map in so anything to the left of this bonfire we're doing now or anything to the left of this door should I say and everything to the right we're going to be doing uh, in a second so this is the door we want to open by um, putting out all the all the fires but like I said we're going to be doing the left hand side first uh, this time that shot was actually dropped by an enemy I didn't realize I I didn't pick it up when I was clearing the level out so I apologize if that's confusing but yeah there's a whole bunch of items over here on the right hand corner also there's a crab here that drops this is the dragon ring lingering dragon ring I can't remember it gives you one of the dragon rings this um the crab in that corner I'll, I'll leave it in the description anyway so yeah uh, over here heading back towards the bridge where the bonfire was underneath it there's another titanite shard and now we're going to head back towards the uh wall the far wall uh, where we find all these dead mushrooms from Dark Souls 1, the poor guys. And we're going to pick up the Sage of Scroll. So come in here towards um, our right, stick into the right-hand side wall. This item's going to be guarded by three giants. One of the giants is going to leave you um, the Pharaoh's Black Bow, I believe. And one of them is going to give you the um, Pharaoh's Hat. And so yeah, so if we continue down here, like I said, we're back at the stairs we was at before. And we pretty much just went around in a circle. So uh, that closes that route up. So if you go down here, obviously you end up back at the bonfire. So now for the right-hand side of the bridges, we're going to come all the way back at the start of the level and uh, start going around the right. So if we come over here to our right, uh, turn back on ourselves, there's some purple moss over there. Now we're going to head kind of back into the center of the map area, slightly to the right. 
Uh, in between these trees, there's going to be another item, which is iron flesh pyromancy. We could fit, we could continue to the right, but there's no items down there, I believe. So we're going to come this way, slightly sticking to the right of this mountain, always keeping the broken bridges to our left. And we're going to come across this staircase, which will take us to the third and final um, flame we've got to put out. But before going up there, I thought it was the simplest way to try and explain this area and continue this way and pick up these few items while are in front of the stairs. So there's one over here, which is two Titanite shards. Uh, there's going to be one slightly hidden in between this building and these rocks, which is the Nameless Knight set. Uh, continuing uh, forwards on this path, we're going to come across another little island platform with a fire on it with another Titanite shard. Uh, sticking to our left, we're kind of coming back on the circle now. Uh, there's going to be this big tower with the with the hand ladder going up. Uh, we're not going to go up that quite yet. We'll be we'll be kind of coming back here quite a few times just so you know roughly where we are. Uh, there's going to be another item down there and one more item, which is the sunlight talisman up where the where you can drink some esters to get your health back. Now we're going to come all the way back to the stairs where we was before, where the third fire is, and we're finally going to come up here and put the third fire out. So once we've done this, we can technically go back to the, the second bonfire and go through the big door if we want to fight the boss or go into the boss area anyway. Uh, there's a few homeward bones here. Uh, if you're in ember form, you should get invaded around here by the same guys in the crucifixion woods, but I already cleared him out anyway. If you've already done him and got his hat and all that, you'll, you won't get it now. He, you, he won't drop anything. But anyway, to the right of the stairs, coming back on ourselves a bit in that circle, there's going to be an item. And over here to the left of the stairs, behind this um, corner of the building, there's going to be one more. So heading forwards now in front of the stairs. Uh, if we go left, technically we would be at where we was before, where the um, hand ladder big tower was. So we're going to stick to our right, uh, pick up these four repair powders, and go back on ourselves one more time to find this slightly hidden cave. So one of the ch one of the chests is always open, but the one to the right isn't, and you get the antique date antique set. And now we're gonna uh, stick to our right. Now we've kind of got to try and find our way back to uh, the tower with the <clears throat> with the hand ladder on it, just just so we know where we are roughly. So we've already cleared all the left hand side out and the far left hand side out because this is where we was before where this where this big tower was with the hand ladder. So there's one more item we can get uh, around this area, which is going to be in this little tower here to the right of the hand tower, hand ladder tower, which is an undead bone shard to upgrade our esters, which is pretty good. And I'm pretty sure you will re realize where we are now. To our right, got, we've got the big door, and up here to our left, across this bridge, is going to be our way to the to the second bonfire. So we've just kind of got every item in the swamp area at the moment, anyway. So yeah, so like I mentioned before, before going to the final area of the map, we're going to come up the tower with the hand ladder. Before heading in the main door, we're going to come up here to the right. I believe there's a crystal lizard around here I, I already killed, um, but it's really hard to miss anyway. And we're going to get these ashes just here before hopping down into the main part of the building. Uh, this door over here is as if we were to um, climb up the ladder and came directly in the door, so it's pretty much the main entrance if you don't do the secret wall thing. So yeah, so there's a bonfire here, you can go and rest up. Uh, and over here this uh, big wolf is actually going to be a covenant and he'll give us a gesture too So this covenant is kind of like the forest one on Dark Souls 1 where if you have the item equipped You will kind of defend the forest and the swamp which is kind of being a dick on this game quite a bit I gotta say but it's fun I guess and that's kind of why you can't summon more than one phantom in the in the swamp I believe that's the case anyway somebody needs to confirm that for me, please, but yeah Anyway, up the lift, uh, to our left we've got a stray demon, but we're not going to be doing him quite yet. First we're going to come over here to our right. Uh, before going, uh, where, sorry, where this gate is, we can drop off here to the right. And uh, we're going to drop off one and two times. There's nothing behind us, so don't worry about that. And we're going to come to this uh, big open area with a dead dragon at the, at the far end. As you can see, if, if in front of us, we can see the undead settlement, which is kind of cool. It kind of all joins up there. Not that you can go across anyway, but yeah, whatever. So yeah, we'll pick those items up. I believe there's a lot of crystal lizards. I believe there's like two crystal lizards in front of the dragon, and there's two more coming up these stairs, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, like I said, I already cleared all them out, just to clear the level and explore properly. Uh, so yeah, so we can hop back down now, we're technically where the stray demon is, and we are the other side of the gate, so yeah, go ahead and 
kill him. He, he isn't that hard. It's really easy to dodge. He does hit pretty hard. But yeah, and he does have a bit of health. But, you know, as long as you dodge him, it should be fine. So there's a load of items around here scattered about. Uh, also, we can come back here a lot later on and get Havel's armor, as I explained in, in a separate video. So yeah, so now we're going to head all the way back down to the swamp. And it's finally time to go through the main door that opens once we've uh, taken all the flames out. So yeah, so there's not many items around here, but there is a few cool secrets. So there's going to be one just here. And uh, that's pretty much it. We just have to stick to the right now. Head up this hill, turn to our left. Uh, once we get to the hill, um, we go to the right and turn back on ourselves instead of heading to the boss. And uh, in this long passageway, there's going to be a bonfire, so you can go and rest that if you want. And over here, where these enemies are, I completely forgot to clear out, but whatever. So before heading up the stairs to our right, we can drop out of this uh, passageway. And there will be two items down here, so just remember that if you do this... You will have you'll be back at the swamp and you will have to walk a bit uh, around to get to the big door again, which is pretty much just sticking to the right. We are kind of um, where the cave area was, but yeah. So uh, just head back to where he was and now go through the long passageway with the bonfire one more time, all the way to the end. And there's going to be a crystal lizard. So this is the crystal lizard that a lot of people have been asking on episode four. How do you get to the other side of this gate? And we are now the other side of the gate. And we get a great magic weapon here too. So yeah, so if we go through this gate, this is where the Black Knight was. And we are back um, on the cruise fiction woods. So that kind of wraps that up. A lot of people, like really, really a lot of people have been asking about that. So yeah, so that uh, clears all that out. Now we're going to go back to the bonfire and uh, stick to the right where this little forest area is. There's literally no point of sticking to the left. Because there's no items and there's so many enemies. But yeah, so just before this little hill, there's going to be an amber here. And uh, up here where all these trees are, just before the boss battle, there's going to be one more item just here. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys, for this episode. Uh, I know it's a wanted episode because uh, this, this area really is a bitch. And I know that the route I took was probably a bit confused and I tried to explain it as best I can. But it really was the only route that I could think of to make it not as confusing as possible. So... Yeah, guys. Uh, once you've got, once you've killed the Abyss Watchers, we would have killed our first um, Lord of Cinder. So there's two or three more to go. And yeah, guys. Next episode will be the Catacombs. Um, hopefully, this was helpful. If it was, please go like and subscribe. Remember, you can follow me on Twitter. Uh, also, you can um, support the channel directly on Patreon. It's much appreciated. And we'll see you next video, guys.